guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Glasgow and we're here for 24 hours to explore Glasgow and the surrounding areas. So we've made it over to the Christmas markets in Glasgow. It's now actually the 1st of December and I'm one of those people where it comes to Christmas. For me, it's not Christmas until it's the beginning of December. So. Let's go and have a look around the market, maybe get a crab, and then check out the rest of the centre of Glasgow. So here we go, here is the room that I've stayed in in Glasgow. So I'm staying at the Dakota Deluxe, which is pretty much right in the center. It's in a square called Blisswood Square, and you can literally get to the center of Glasgow in about five minutes walk. It is a really, really nice place to stay. Rooms are around 120 to 150 pounds a night, depending on when you're staying. There are quite a lot of discount codes out there. I can drop some details in the description below on how you can get it a bit cheaper, but this, I can honestly say, is up there with some of the nicer hotels. Bed's really comfortable, room's very spacious. Overall, I'll give it a good eight out of 10. So that's the room. Now we've explored the room, let's go and explore more of Scotland. Uh, and we'll be going over to the distillery in now, what appears to be quite yucky afternoon. Let's see how it goes. I like that there's Uber here as well, that is a real tick in the box. Come with us, hang on. Where am I going? There we go. Yeah. Hello, mate. Hi, how are you doing? After the uh, 20 minute or so drive over from Glasgow, we're now at the Glengoyne Distillery, probably pronounced that wrong, um, and we're gonna go on a tour and whiskey tasting. Feeling a little bit fragile, so hopefully the whiskey will help me feel better. Hair of the dog and all that. Let's go check it out. So we've just gone around the tour, obviously it was a little bit hard to vlog whilst doing that. Um, we've started off with showing how the whiskey is made from using the key, key ingredients, water, uh, malt, I think barley as well, sugar. We're now gonna actually taste some of the whiskey, so we're gonna come. We would usually have done that when we first came <laughs> in, but we arrived a little bit late. So we're gonna go and try that now. As I said before, I'm not the biggest whiskey fan in the world, but I'm keen to really try and appreciate and enjoy it. Let's go and try some. Well, first of all, I should probably introduce you to my friend Pete, who's going to be uh, sampling this as well. He's been on our trip. He actually lives in Scotland. He's not Scottish, though, are you, Pete? Far from it. Anyway, um, so without any more to say, shall we, shall we try? This. Cheers, old sport. That's good, that's very nice. And I'm not a whiskey drinker, but I will say cheers. So, what do you think, Pete? Do you feel like you can tell what the sort of notes of taste that you're getting? <laughs> we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> I feel like I should do this as a segment on each trip that I do, tasting the local alcohol. I mean, I do anyway, but off camera, so <laughs> comment down below if you think that's a good idea. We finished our tour, we've had our tasting. The question is, how the hell do we get home? 
Uh, yeah, we've kind of probably not really worked this out very well. So we've obviously got an Uber over here, but we are now well and truly out in the middle of nowhere. And we're like half an hour away from Glasgow. So yeah, I don't really know how we're gonna do that. Apparently there's a bus though. Apparently there's a bus. Um, one interesting fact that we were told. So this road here, this road here, this in between, in between the distillery from where it's all made okay. to where the storage is the border between the highlands and the lowlands. So we're currently in the highlands and that is the lowlands. Apparently it's to do with some form of uh, like tax thing. I don't know. But anyway, so currently in the highlands, but we're gonna have to go into the lowlands to get a bus back to civilization. So yeah, wonderful, wonderful experience. I do highly recommend this. Just learn from what our mistake is of how to get out of here. Right, check back in with you in a moment. We have thankfully just arrived back in Glasgow city center after a very lucky situation. We basically asked someone if they could give us a lift back into town and thanks to the wonderful, as he put it, Scottish hospitality, they hooked us up. Gave him a bit of petrol money, but wow. We would have been in a mess if not. We were thinking that the bus that we would have had to try and get, we would have been waiting for like an hour in the cold and in the middle of nowhere. That distillery was literally out in the middle of nowhere. So thankfully, we're now back in Glasgow, back to the hotel. Not sure if I'm gonna get much footage tonight. We're gonna to go out for a few drinks. So I'll probably pick up with you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning and welcome to another day in Scotland. Uh, today we have got something quite exciting planned. Uh, my friend who lives here has gone and rented a car and we're gonna be going on a little road trip over to Loch Lomond. Uh, going out for some lunch by the lake. The lock, sorry, not the lake, whatever. Uh, but yeah, we've basically just got to find where he's parked up and he's over there. Brilliant, let's go and get in the car and go on a road trip. Shotgun! Yeah, yes. Oh, look at this rental. You got excess, have you? It's caused some carnage. Look at this, boy. This is lovely. It's this car play as well. Yeah, yeah lovely. We get some music on there. Wonderful. Oh, wow. No keys. Push to sleep. What's that? C4. C4 forward. No, no. I'm going to keep that right, right, right far back. Let me get some more. Right, let's go. Well, we've just uh, driven about half an hour now uh, up towards Loch Lomond. Uh, quite, a, quite a swift journey to be honest, mainly motorway. We've just pulled up to probably one of the most, I'd say one of the most beautiful scenes that I've seen this weekend. Now come over to uh, Cameron House, and they have like a boat house and grounds. Uh, they also have some lodges here as well. We're gonna go and have a spot of lunch. Hopefully, it will look over the lock. Uh, show you what I've, I have. I have no idea what sort of food they do. I, apparently, it's pretty nice. Pete's booked it all, so uh, if it's rubbish, we'll we'll complain to him. Uh, and then we're gonna go and have a bit more of explore around the area. So uh, let's go and get some food. Well, we've just had a stunning lunch over at the boathouse at Cameron House. Uh, we've now come over to the marina, which is literally just outside the boathouse, hence why it's called a boathouse. Um, and now we're actually having a look over Loch Lomond. It's got quite uh, misty 
at the minute. Um, and we've probably only got about another half an hour left of light, but I'm going to try and get as much cool footage as I can. And we're also going to be going over to where Cameron House is, and they've actually got a seaplane. Now, it's something that I will definitely come back and do and document on the channel. But for around, I think, £100, you can actually take a, uh, a flight on the seaplane over, over the lock. And I can imagine that to be spectacular. Probably not on a day where it's as cloudy as it is today, but certainly worth doing in the spring and summer. So I need to come back for, to Scotland in the summer. Right guys, so we're back in lovely rainy Glasgow, back in the center of town, and we're gonna go and try and sample uh, a sort of local delicacy to Scotland, a deep fried Mars bar. You've probably heard of it if you're from the UK, but if you're from further afield, it is the chocolate bar, uh, Mars bar chocolate bar, like caramel nougat, uh, deep fried. So like a little batter and stuff on it. Horrifically calorific, not very good for you. But let's go try it. I hope we can find it. It's apparently one in the center of town, just over by the station, so fingers crossed. So thanks to a tip off from a friend, we managed to find the Blue Lagoon, at, which is a fish and chip shop by the central station in Glasgow. Incidentally, the same one that Justin Bieber visited for his haggis and chips after a night out. Fun fact for you. So anyway, the reason I'm talking over this is because my audio decided to give up completely at this point, which is very frustrating, but probably due to the very wet weather. Now, incidentally, what is a deep fried Mars bar like? It is basically just uh, melted chocolate goo. It's really nice, obviously a bit strange having the crispy like deep friedness, but it's great. I mean, try it when you're here, but it's not something you should have every day. <laughs> say I thoroughly enjoyed our very brief, I suppose, 24 hours in Scotland. We managed to do quite a lot in the period of time that we're here. Um, personally, I would recommend going for probably maybe a day extra so you get sort of 36 hours to enjoy staying in Glasgow and then going a little bit further afield. I'd highly recommend doing what we did by renting a car. It allows you to see a lot more of the area sort of further afield and also prevents you from getting into a situation like we had where we ended up getting almost stuck out in the middle of nowhere. So. Definitely rent the car for the majority of the time that you are here. Overall, really good trip. Uh, and of course, guys, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, do make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out some of my other content. Probably one of the most uh, exciting trips I've done recently has been the Belgrade trip uh, that I did back in September. Make sure you hit drop a comment below if you would like to see any more specific locations. I've got a lot of trips up upcoming. I've got Iceland in a few days. I also have Krakow in a couple of weeks. And I've got a bunch of really cool, exciting trips coming in January. Dubai is on the agenda as well. So guys, once again, thanks very much. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.